Oh, here we go. I believe we are in. Yes. All right. I am going to assume that we are in and we are going to start playing. Hello, all. Welcome back to our Frightening Fridays. Um, I missed last week because I was at a workshop uh, and... This, t this week, I have some... We're going to do an escape the room tonight. Um, but I didn't want to miss another week. So, hence an early episode. Hopefully, uh, people will still be able to tune in. If not, we're going to have fun playing this game. So, uh, we have finished episode one and two. And two? <laughs> and we are going into episode three tonight. Uh, let me know if you are having... Interesting. Is this what I want? Previously on Alan Wake, okay. Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. It's so dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Okay, so here we are, episode three. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Oh, Alan, Help you this folks. won't be quick Name's at all. Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, oh Al, my God, so much I found talking. all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Okay. I was just waiting for all that talking to stop. Hello, Baba. Hello, Patekin. Okay, Patekin's going to go lurk. Thank you for letting me know that you're, you're here and lurking, though. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. All right. So I'm, I'm looking around for things, but I think I'm just going to go and follow Mr. Randolph here. Oh, Jesus, dude. No pay. Uh, where are you going, buddy? I've reached a checkpoint. That's generous. Baba, have you played Alan Wake at all? But there is so much to look at. Oh, my God. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Rabbit for oh. Where, where am I hearing all of the chop, choppity, chop, chop noise? No one knows. All right, continuing. All right, can I make a guess and say that we're going in here? Ugh, do I have to wait for you? <laughs> yes. 
It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. That's anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. <laughs> yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. He, hello, thank you for showing up. So Baba has not played this, okay. Um, doing all right. We've got a, uh, we're, we're going to an escape the room thingy tonight. So I am streaming a little earlier than I normally do so that I can do both of the things. So Baba, this game, I don't, I don't well, know. Well, mister, if... this here's yeah, Rose's trailer. I'm excited about it. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. And we want thermoses. Um, from the, oh, okay. From the little intro to the uh, episode, you might have gotten all the information you need, but I'm basically a, a writer, essentially going through my own horror Welcome novel. Welcome to to oh dear mr wake i'm i'm so glad you're here rose you have my manuscript oh oh hello oh yes oh oh shoot wait what just happened what just happened was that a host i think gee did that say that you are now hosting me i think that's what that said if so, whomever it is, thank you so much. Uh, what happens to her face there? Yeah. Oh, that is you, Guy. Thank you. Thank you for the host. Very much appreciated. All right. So do we want to read? Yeah, we have no manuscript pages, obviously, in this episode yet. Um, I got all spazzy when I went Please to go come in. look at the host message. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Jesus. Back to work. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She okay. promises oh, me God I can it. save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours place. left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Okay, stop all of the extra talking. It's turning into a horror story. 
I'm getting close. I can feel it. Okay, so the deal is he's basically, it, there are three worlds. There's the real world, but the real world also has him following this bizarre, um, he's he's following his the the story of his book Barry was out of it oh, he was God. way too heavy to carry but then right. there's this dream state where you you had just so seen he's getting handsome. spoken to by a, a another to voice the dear diner and then this what can I get you today Zoe Deschanel sounding I couldn't work character. out much hate for Rose oh, something had used her to get to me right, and left this. its mark First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? So Thank you. That's why she nice sounds... Day. Okay, shut the Come fuck up. Soon. That's why she sounds like a robot, but also um, the graphics in the game are... They have trouble with eye lines. Like when the characters are supposed to be looking at each other, they're not, and so... That waitress's face looked awkward to begin with, even before she got um, My possessed. gun and flashlight were gone. This is just I'd have gone. to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Hello, Diesel! Thank you for coming and playing in the sandbox. All right, get to the car. Get to the chopper. Can I run? I can. Oh, that's right. One of the things that infuriates me about Mr. Alan Wake here, uh, besides his cowboy boots, is that he gets winded extremely easily. Um, and I'm judging him for that because I want to run more than he allows me to. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare <laughs> is it just me well perhaps it is but i hope i can make the night a little bit easier to get through caller you're on kbf FM. part of what i struggle with is how much of this i'm supposed to be What's listening to mind, like boy? on the television and the radio well, i ain't the way you are but well uh i can't sleep either you know uh i just been staring out the window here to make sense of it all, but uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know, I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. So I don't know how much time I waste by hanging out or whether I'm missing out on something by just moving on. I, I have not learned that yet. Oh, you're going to get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Hemingway. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, Guy. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake. Come on. Make it easy. Oh, like we are in run mode here. Move it, move it, move it. No, no. Oh my god. Ah! Okay, man. Keep your eyes peeled. He's gonna try to make it through here. Oh, damn. Ah. Ah, 
stop, stop, stop. And I can't shoot or anything. I don't know, you guys. I'm just, I'm just fucking running. Oop. Shit. Jogging, trotting. Because in the first episode, your wife. He's gone. Come on, guys. We need to head him off. Y your wife dies. In the second, she's kidnapped. I mean, I, I thought she died in the first one. Um, but I guess maybe I'm just mistaken. But you've got this kidnapping thing going on, and then all of these... You've got the environment acts up, right, like this, for some reason, and then you've got these... characters who come to get you. Bad guys. So I still have not yet escaped the police, but I don't know why that car is important. 